Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today, guys? <laughs> today we're gonna talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a cool topic for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our topic for today? Our topic for today is selling. Don't give up. What do you say? I said selling. Don't give up. And you're probably saying, what's this got to do with selling? It's got everything to do with selling. You know, I've been in sales since the 80s. I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And this, I'm a real salesperson. I talk to people every day over the phone. I go see people every day. I just love being a salesperson. But I've seen a lot of people, they give up. They give up before the miracle happens. And a lot of times the miracle is that they get a chance to sell something. You may be a salesperson who's been selling for a long time. You've got good days, bad days. And we have those days, sometimes we just wish we would have stayed in bed because, you know, life is ebb and flow, up and down. And remember guys, it's a numbers game. And when you're a salesperson, the key to success in being a salesperson is we can't give up. Now, I didn't say sometimes you don't want to change opportunities because I've worked with a lot of great companies and unfortunately, they ain't here no more. Things happen, but see, once you become a salesperson and you learn the basics and the fundamentals on how to have a conversation, a selling conversation, doing the right next thing and showing up to work every day and learning how to have selling conversations, being able to overcome objections, because literally, basically, most objections are always the same. It's got to do with money, time, issues. They're like tissues, they pop up all the time. But see, once you learn the basics about your product, you can have an informed conversation with somebody. And once you learn the formulas on how to pick up the heavy phone, call people, and just have a conversation with them. Not just try to be a teleseller. You're trying to have a conversation with these people because people want to buy stuff. They want to own stuff. They just don't like to be sold stuff. So our key to success in today is don't give up. Don't give up before the miracle. And I like to say that because you know, a lot of times I've given up. I ain't gonna lie. I'm one of these kind of people. I'm a real salesperson. I'll tell you stuff you really, <laughs> me nobody will ever talk about. The hard times, the good times, the bad times, and those times that just don't work out. Sometimes you're lucky. You may have a significant other, somebody you can stay at home, and you can learn a craft of selling a particular job and have somebody to fall back on. But if you got one person and you're, you're living on your own, you're trying to pay bills, sometimes you have to change gears. Not every product that you get is going to work out for you. Like I said, I sell real estate. Right now, I'm not doing a lot of real estate. I'm doing more life insurance. I'm helping people also with getting educations, you know, in school, helping them. I pick up that heavy phone. I set appointments every day. I go out and see people and I share my information, but I don't give up. See, like I said, a lot of companies that I've worked for in the past, they ain't here no more. So just remember, you gotta give yourself a chance. You gotta give yourself a break and the key to success is just keep going forward. It works if you work it, but you gotta live it. And salespeople, sometimes we can get overwhelmed. We got all these things in our lives. We got kids, we got significant others. There's a lot of issues, pay, you know, problems. But what do you do when you go and see a customer or you talk to a customer? You have to change gears. You gotta remember, you take off your mask and put on another one. You probably said, I don't wanna put on masks. No, what I'm saying basically is, you got to just remember, you're there for the customer. We're a salesperson. We, we work on this magic thing called commission. So when you work on commission, that means you got to think outside the box. You know, some people, they get a salary, okay, which is wonderful. But if you're working on straight commission, guys, you have to be the best that you can be. You got to give yourself a chance. Don't give up. Like I said, one sale may not be for you. Maybe you might want to try another type of opportunity. It won't take long for you to figure it out. But see, here's the thing. We compare ourselves a lot of times to people who've been in sales for a long time or those people who've been doing this particular job for a long time. So when we compare ourselves, we see ourselves like, oh man, I don't know how they do it. They've been, they've been doing it for a while. So don't give up before the miracle. And the miracle is that eventually what happens is, is once you get your feet wet, that means knocking on the heavy, knocking on the doors, picking up the heavy phone, 
doing the do, doing the work, and not giving up. Rick said, it's a numbers game. You got to learn the vernacular, how to have a conversation. You got to learn how to talk to people. You've got to learn how to share your information. You've got to learn how to overcome objections. And remember, guys, I'm a real salesperson and I've got a lot of videos. I've got literally hundreds and hundreds of sales videos. So give me a thumbs up, please share, and please subscribe. And remember, if you're a salesperson, to be a successful salesperson, you have to persevere. Like I said, there's a lot of companies that you may be working with that you think are going to be around forever. They ain't. I worked in retail for a long time, and unfortunately, a lot of these great companies that were in business for 40, 50, 100 years, they're no longer here. So what do we have to do? We have to adapt. We have to not give up. So remember, if you're a salesperson and you're trying to learn the basics and the fundamentals, you got to do the work. You've got to work hard. You have to persevere. And we don't give up. I keep saying that, guys. A lot of times people, they, they, they think they're failures. They think they're inadequate. They think that, man, I can't do this. Listen, that's a pit out of the hay, okay? You can do anything you put your mind to. The reason why I know that, because my mom always told me I could do anything I put my mind to. Now, I haven't always been successful in everything that I do, but see, those are stepping stones. Those are opportunities for you to learn new skills, new things. So if you work for a company and you do real well, hey, congratulations. But remember this one thing, it may not last forever. So what do you do? You keep on selling. Okay. All right.